Hey everyone, CWD Music Reviews here. I'm CWD and this is going to be a music review of the new Vince Staples EP slash mini album Prima Donna. This is the latest project from up coming West Coast rapper Vince Staples. He recently caught my attention last year when he dropped his album Summertime 06. That was a cool album. The production on that thing was fantastic. It's been a while since we had a producer like No ID lend so much beat ideas to one single MC. I'm talking maybe like back in 2010 when My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was being made. So that really fascinated me. All this trunk knocking bass, these really hard hitting type beats. It definitely had a really dark and kind of gritty West Coast type of feel to it. It also had quite a bit of off-kilterness to it in a way, but unfortunately I think the main Achilles heel of that project was Vince Staples himself. He wasn't bad on the record, it just felt like when the features weren't overshadowing what he was doing, he was not really making a compelling presence to his own project. I actually felt like that this was more of a no ID B project with Vince rapping all over it. But still, I did come out of that album liking it. I definitely saw a lot of potential to what Vince Staples was capable of. And now that he has this new project, this new EP, I'm going to refer to as a mini album, he is definitely going to continue to fascinate me further. Given the fact that these seven tracks are actually particularly good. For the most part. Like I mentioned, this album is about 7 tracks long, about 21 minutes. It's got an intro track called Let It Shine that is probably my least favorite track on the record. Namely because it kicks off this whole lo-fi singing thing that Vince does on the tail end of a good chunk of these tracks. I think if there's like one complaint I did have about this whole EP, it's pretty much that. It was kind of interesting as an opening on the first listen, but now that I know what was going on, I just feel like skipping all that. But that's really the only negative thing I have to say about this EP. The core of the songs themselves actually are really good. Again, the production, fantastic. Maybe a bit more interesting and a bit more varied than what was on Summertime 06. Take the track War Ready, which has James Blake of all people producing this track. Where was this James Blake when I reviewed his last album? Because this thing is hard hitting as hell. There's a nice prominent outcast sample with Andre 3000 just going in on this cut and it's kind of warped a little to, with all these voice modulations that really keep me engaged. The beat's not really like bass heavy or anything of that nature but it definitely brings a kind of alertness to how maybe kind of strip back it is. I love the hook Vince delivers. Already, already. Pretty much Vince rapping particularly well about, if maybe a bit laid back, like he's trying to like hold some kind of emotion in. He's definitely talking about all these injustices committed upon African Americans in the United States. Pretty much pointing out that these wise men were simultaneously racist. A good chunk of the tracks here are produced by none other than Mr. DJ Dahi, and these cuts are really cool too. Like the track Smile, which I was kind of on the fence about, given how kind of abrasive the guitar is on this cut. It's kind of a nice, uplifting type of track here. Pretty much the opposite of what War Ready was. Or War Ready was kind of this call to arms in a way. Smile is pretty much, yeah, all this stuff is going on right now, all this injustice going on, but regardless, we need to keep optimistic and keep our heads up about this whole thing, and pretty soon this will all be over. Kind of reminds me of that over there. I think maybe my least favorite track is Loco, since that this cut seems a little too much reminding me of something off of our Summertime 06, but still, this is definitely a standalone track within itself. Kilo Kish. She has a guest feature on this thing, and she does her thing a lot better than what she was doing on Summertime 06. The beat on this track is alarming, it's fast paced. Vince is definitely rapping particularly well over this cut. Really showing a lot of charisma and vocal viscera on this track. And that's what I like about this EP the more than I did Summertime 06. The fact that Vince has presence on his own project. Whereas he was playing second fiddle on Summertime 06 to his own guests, 
His guests are now playing second fiddle to him, and that's what I wanted. Like the track Prima Donna, which has an Aesop Rocky feature, but he's more so on the hook than, say, like his own guest verse. Again, the track reminds me of the off-kilterness of Summertime 06 in terms of production. The way there's like these seagulls going off in the background. The beat themselves is kind of bass-driven. It definitely has this off-kilter type of snare going on. And again, Vince is rapping particularly well on this cut. He's showing a lot of presence, and I enjoy it quite a bit for that. The track Pimp Hand is the only cut here that is produced by No ID, and again, it sounds a lot like a leftover from Summertime 06, but a lot more charisma and a lot more presence to what Vince is doing. The way this hard-hitting bass comes in, especially this hook here. Pimp Hand Strong, Pimp Hand Strong! But I think my favorite cut on this track is Big Time, which has, once again, James Blake producing. Again, where was this James Blake? Where was he on that last album? Oh my god. It's got this nice buzzing kind of off-kilter beat going to it, and a nice formidable bass to it. And Vince is outright spitting on this cut. He's got like tough as nails bars that, oh man, it makes me just go nuts in excitement every single time I listen to it. So those are the tracks. I just wish that maybe this could have been fleshed out into a whole album. Maybe not a long album, like 40 or 50 minute album, but at least like a 35 or so minute album. I mean, if you throw in maybe three more tracks that are as good as the rest of the album, and maybe if you shredded like the last, you know, minute or so of some of these cuts where it goes into that lo-fi singing thing, you definitely would have had one of my favorite hip-hop albums of the year. Still, this thing like pretty much exists to whet the appetite more so than it does to give us a long and satisfying experience. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to what Vince is going to be up to next, seeing as I did like Summertime 06 and I like this a lot better than Summertime 06, because this thing is pretty intriguing to listen to. This album is a plus 1.8 out of plus 3. It's definitely a good listen if you're looking for some West Coast hip hop, some interesting and particularly good West Coast hip hop for this generation. But if you give this album a listen, what you think of it? Did you like this album? Did you dislike this album? What was your reason for that and what should I consider listening to and reviewing next? The CW Music Reviews here, signing off.